Welcome guys. Welcome back. Now you've seen the, how these things worm right in the works. Well today we're going to make them. So you don't have to you don't have to spend no big amount of money. You can get a you can get your straight piece of wood out of the woods cut or like this. What we're going to make one out of today is an old broom handle. This is probably close to one inch three quarters to one inch. The bigger they are, the deeper the sound is, the bigger the thump is in the ground. So stick around and we're gonna actually show you making one. Guys, like I said, you don't, let's just make one out of an old broken broom handle. Don't take much. So you've got to, I'll put a drawing in here from the previous video showing you the dimensions and everything. But it, it's nothing complicated. It don't cost no money. You can whittle one out of, of a stick in the woods if you want to. But anyway, here we go. We'll just take the one that I, here's the pre finished here's the finished product right here. And simple thing. We'll use it for a pattern. Right here, this old broom handle where it's tapered. That'd be a good start to put your point. Right here and mark it. Or where you want it, right the center of your notches. You can look at the draw and you tell you how far apart they need to be. Just mark them right there at your drawing. There you go, you've marked that where to cut it, where to cut it off. Now, what you got left over here, you've got plenty left over to make you a stick. So you can go ahead and you're going to cut that off there. So just Mark that there for you cut off for your handle. There you go. Yeah. Now all you want to do, now you, you don't have to have these, but it helps from hurting your hand, is my little pattern that I put on it. You see. Because you do a lot of this, it rub a little blister on it. But this here stops that. Anyway, we'll get started here. We'll cut these things. And then we'll go to sanding them. Now, I don't have a lay. A lay is the easiest and best way to use it. But I have an old, just an old little old cheap Harbor Freight sander. And it does really great for what I want. Now, you can just use a, a little old sanding tool or something on a drill. You could do anything. Or you could take your time and really make you something pride by carving it out with a knife. But that's a real slow job. But anyway. We'll get started. You can use a hand saw on this or anything, but I, just for easy for me, I'm just going to go ahead and, and cut this baby with a saw. There's your worm stick. We've marked it. Right there's your rattler handle stick. See, we've, we've marked them where we want to put our sanding notches in. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're going we're gonna to start the sanding process. This is just an old, old belt sander. Nothing big, nothing fancy. And we've marked our stick. So when you take these notches down on your uh, rattling pumps, I, about a maybe just a quarter inch or just a little bit over it, it looks like they're really big but they're not so let's get started we're going to work on the hunt first marking it Going around and around. Right where my marks is at. You don't have to be perfect. What suits you fine enough. And 
just going on the edge of the paper. See, I'm just scoring this good. We'll see how it turns out. You gotta take your time with these things. Don't force it into your belt, you'd be putting another belt on it. It will break it. Got one half of it. What you want to do? You want to turn it over now. You can round it off that side. Patient. He has a touchy shape. He's got to be patient. We've already took the shape of it. It's pretty good. You just let's take your time and start dressing it up when you get it down where you want it. I'm moving my belt over here where I can get down that groove.
we basically got the working end of the stick done. Just trying to dress it up a little bit. Basically, is the stick. Just, just try and dress it up. Suit yourself when you make this thing. I mean, it don't have to be beautiful, pretty, but there you go. That's the working end of the stick. So now, what we want to do is we want to do our point. So start taking it down. About where we want to start. down gradually at the end it sticks in the ground Basically, there you go. Now, you might dress these up a little bit in these corners. You take just sand them by hand because that grinder just keeps cutting marks in it. But, we want to round this off just a hair for our knob. First, I want to get it flat where I cut it with saw. There you go. Don't take nothing, no. And that's out of an old broom handle. I didn't have to buy a dial stick, pay big money, old broken broom handle. Nothing to make that. And like I said, I want I, my own design is putting that knob on there. So if you do a lot of this in the ground, it don't rub a blister. But you don't really need it. There you go. There's your working tool right there. Okay, now this right here, this is your handle. What we had left of the broom handle. We do just round it off. Mm. 
more or less just want to get the rough edges off of it. Wire it up when you cut it with a saw. There you go. There's your handle. And if you really want to get really extravagant, you like carving and stuff like that, you can carve your name in it. You could stain it, put designs on it, whatever you want. But you'll see right here, there it is. Now, the bigger diameter you get on these sticks, the bigger, deeper frequency thump you got going in the ground. And the, 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 the less diameter it is, the smaller diameter your stick is, it's a higher pitch sound. Seems like to me that the, the worm's like a, a deep thump sound, you know, more than a high pitch sound. But there you go. And guys, we got this here, I'll show you. This is something that's not really necessary, but I like it for convenience. You see the knob right here? This is just an old wood cabinet knob. You, they don't cost nothing. Just an old knob. And, and if you, some comes with a screw already in them and some don't. So I just took an old screw and cut it off and drilled that out just enough to one end of my knob on it. There we go on that. And then you mark the center of your hole because you've rounded this off kind of where it match your thing. <clears throat> Just get the center of it. Now you can glue them in if you want to, but I don't because you throw these things around and beat, uh, you know, they get old and get nasty and change them out. So, there you go. Could just drill all the way through it. There you go, but I I I drilled it a little bit too deep so my thing come through, but I'll take care of that. There you go. It's ready to be used or stained or marked, whatever you want to do. Got your handle on it. You sanded it here. Got your handle on it. You sanded it good. And there you go. You ready to do some worm getting. So, there you have it. We've just made us one together. So, Here's the original one. Now I'll I'll, I'll put some I put the old drawing in there, print so you could have some measurements to go by if you don't have a pattern. So there's the old one, the original one I've been using. Here's the one we just made. Do you see any difference in them? Both made on a sander. And we've got our two column sticks. Basically look the same. 
listen guys, when you, anytime you use these electric power tools, make sure you wear gloves if you need them and wear safety glasses because all it takes is one time. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Let's go call some worms. <laughs>